Welcome back to tutorials. Our next topic is Miele machine. Miele machine is a finite automata which gives output. It is also like Moore machine but in Moore machine output depends on present state and here output depends on present state as well as on current input symbol. So outputs are associated with transitions in Miele machine. But in Moore machine, outputs are associated with present state. Mathematically, it is a six-tuple machine. Here it is a six-tuple machine ME. Q, Q is a set of all states of this ME Miele machine. Sigma is set of all input symbols. And this triangle is a set of all outputs. Delta is a transition function. It takes two in arguments that is present state and an input symbol and it gives next state as a output lambda is a output function here output depends on present state as well as on input symbol so it maps present state and input symbol into output Actually, it gives output associated with each transition. Now, Q0. Q0 is a, it is the initial state of Miele machine. Now, this is a Miele machine. Here, I have represented it in tabular form. Now, here all states are mentioned Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. So in this Miele machine there are only 4 states. Initial state is mentioned by putting an arrow before it. Here Q1 is the initial state of this Miele machine. Now here there are only two input symbol which this Miele machine can read 0 and 1 now look at this row here the present state is Q2 when the input symbol is 0 it, which means when it is in present state when it is in a state Q2 and it reads 0 then the next state will be Q1 and the output will be 1. Now when the present state is Q2 means machine is in a state Q2 and it reads an input symbol 1 then it will transit to Q4 and gives output 0. In this way we can interpret this table. We can also represent Miele machine in graphical form when we represent it in a form of graph that graph is also called transition diagram now here when we represent it by graph nodes of graph represents state of Miele machine now here we have four states q0 q1 q2 q3 q4 not q0 Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. Here Q1 is an initial state. We will put an arrow before it. Now here the output is associated with transition. So output will be labeled on arrows because we use arrows to represent transition so in this case arrows will be labeled by input as well as by output symbol so how will we represent suppose machine is in state qx and on reading an input symbol a it jumps to state qy and gives an output 0 then what will we do we will label 
the arrow which represents transition by input symbol slash output here a is the input and zero is output it means when machine is in qx state and it reads a it will jump to qy and give zero as output now see q1 when it reads zero it uh, jumps to q3 state and it gives output zero so how will we label this arrow first write input symbol that is zero then write output symbol zero so in this way when we when it reads one when we apply one it will jump to q2 and output will be zero when it reads one it will jump to q2 and output will be zero so first write input symbol one then slash and then output symbol so when it is in q2 it reads zero it will jump to one and gives output one so when it is reads one when its present state is q2 and it reads one it will jump to q4 and its output will be zero when present state is q3 and input is zero then next state will be q2 and the output will be one when it reads one and its present state is q3 it will jump to state q1 and output will be one 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 and uh, when its present state is q4 and it reads zero its output will be one and next state will also be q4 but when it reads one here it will jump to q3 and output will be zero so first write input symbol and then write output so this is a graphical representation of this mille machine now let us see how it process the string 0 1 1 1 right whenever this melee machine starts it starts from initial state its initial state is its starting state whenever it starts reading any string or any input symbol it starts from initial state so it starts from q1 it reads 0 when it reads 0 it jumps to q3 and output would also be 0 now it has come on state q3 now it has to read input symbol 1 from q3 when it reads 1 it again jumps to it jumps back to q1 and output will be 1 now again it has to read 1 now the present state is q1 and when it reads 1 it jumps to q2 and output is 0 now again it has to read 1 when it reads 1 it jumps to q4 and 
from Q2 when it is 1 it jumps to Q4 and output is 0. So when this machine, this melee machine reads 0, 1, 1 string, the output would be 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0. Thank you very much.